Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that waveform visualizer in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to share with you how to create a waveform visualizer. So here, as you can see, I have a song in my timeline and I would like to basically create that same waveform uh, animated on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to bring here a fusion composition drag it in my timeline and I'm going to extend it to the length of my song. Now let's move over to Fusion. We're going to bring a first background and a second background. I'm going to link the output of that background two to the background one to create a merge and I'm going to link the output of that merge to the media out. Then I'm going to select my background two and here I'm just going to click on the rectangle to create a rectangular mask. I'm going to switch the color here to my background two to white. I'm then going to select my rectangle and here I'm just going to adjust the width of the rectangle to create a bar like so and I'm going to drag the corner radius to one. Now I'm just going to move that bar to the side right here. Now we're going to need to duplicate that bar multiple times to create the waveform. So I'm going to select my background too and here we're going to hit shift space on the keyboard and search for duplicate and bring a duplicate node. Let's make 20 copy of this so 20. And then here, we're just going to move the center position. So, all right. So we now have the base to create our waveform. Now we're going to need to animate it. So it's sync up with the music that we have here. So we're going to use a modifier to do that. We're going to click on the rectangle. And here, we're just going to right click on the height. We're going to go to modify with. And here, we're going to just use the MIDI extractor. Now it gives us access to the modifier tab and here we can add a MIDI file. Unfortunately, the file that we use here on the edit page is not a MIDI file, it's a WAV file. So we're going to need to convert that. Fortunately, you can easily do that on the internet. So here uh, I'm on this site called Verifile Converter and I can just upload my original uh, WAV file that can be MP3. And then you just upload that, convert it to MIDI. So here, convert it to MIDI, just let it run. And here now you can just download it. I will put the link in the description to this website, but you can use any converting website uh, on the internet. Now coming back to DaVinci, we can just go back to the modifier and here in Bros, we can just bring our MIDI file right there. And here we go. Now we have all bar backs. That means that it's supposed to be working. And if we scroll through, as you can see, we got some movement. Again, very important, convert it to a MIDI file that will not work with a wave or a MP3. So that's a very important step. Now, the next thing to do is here in combine event, gonna be to do sum. But as you can see, that extends by a lot or bar. So here on the reset scale, we're just gonna reduce that to 0 0.1. One. This may vary depending on uh, your song, but for me, generally between uh, 0 0.05 and 0 0.2, that's usually a good fit. Now, if we play it, as you can see, we got some movement with our song. Obviously, you cannot hear the song right now, but it's not a waveform because everything is the same. All the lines are moving the same way, right? So we're just going to offset each of those lines. So we're going to go over to the duplicate. So here in time offset, we're going to go with 0 0.3. And I would basically create a delay between each of those lines and that's going to enable us to just see that waveform. So now we can go back to the edit page and now if we play it, we got our animation in sync with the music. Now keep in mind that the track right here is not in sync with the one in Fusion. So if you start to uh, move it around and it's not aligned with your Fusion composition, it will not match anymore, right? Because that's independent of each other. So you need to always have them match up and sync up that way. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a visualizer waveform in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this has been requested by a comment on one of the last video on basically how to use certain modifier in Fusion. So I wanted to share with you the MIDI extractor. Let me know in a comment if you would like to see uh, more video about visualizer because there is just so many ways to create those. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.